Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscure Angel PT and for today what I have here is Batman Arkham Knight, the benchmark tool. So the game was developed by the Rocksteady Studios and it's using their Unreal Engine 3. As you can see we are going to play the game, not at this resolution, ok? It's, uh, we are going to play at 800 per 600 with everything on the minimum. Well, to be honest, we are not going to play it. I'm just going to run the benchmark tool on this game. But you are free to, to go to the gameplay by clicking on the blue rectangle saying gameplay. Or, if you want to check the results without recording, you just need to press the green rectangle saying frame rate or check the description of the video. So, what I can say about this is that this game was very bad optimized at the release. It's not the case anymore, but it's still a very demanding game after all. So, there is nothing we can do. So, if you want to stick with the game... Uh, <laughs> sorry. If you want to stick with the benchmark tool, just enjoy the rest of the video and I will be back soon to talk a little bit about the performance. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. So as you can see the game barely runs, so if you look to the graphic you see that the game spends a lot of time between the 20s and the 27s. So this is actually bad news but I was seriously expecting this, I wouldn't say that, judging by the benchmark tool of course, I wouldn't say that this would be playable at all, this is barely playable. So play this way at 800 per 600 with minimum settings with this frame rate. Unless you know that in the next couple of years you are not going to upgrade to anything. So if you have a console, it's obviously that a console will be much better experience than in this laptop. Obviously. So, looking to the consistency, 66% of the frames was lower than 30 FPS. 50% of the frames, oh my god, half of it was below the 25 FPS and 1% was below the 20 FPS. So, this is grandly not a good experience and it's hard to play this way but you are free to do whatever you feel like and the game is not expensive on Kingwin and shops like that. So I fully understand that if you want to get it but just keep in mind that the performance and graphics will be <coughs> a little bit complicated. The VRAM usage of the game was 1.7 gigabytes of... Uh, was using 1.7 gigabytes of RAM uh, VRAM, I mean, the RAM usage, uh, I fully recommend you to have 8 gigabytes of RAM, if you don't have it, just don't buy the game. The CPU usage was between the 60 and 100%, and despite the CPU reached 100%, the GPU usage was always giving its maximum. So that's why I want to talk about Batman Arkham Knight, the benchmark tool. Hope you did enjoy the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.